So it's been about four or five months since I started this project, this barn tear down, shed build, and I had to go on a work trip. I come back, it's now summertime, and things have completely grown over on me. This is what we are dealing with back here now, which I'm actually super excited that it all grew up like this, all grew over, grown over? I don't know how to put it. But the mud pit that we had, I don't know if I have videos or pictures, but it was a bad mud pit because I dug too low and then I was never able to grade it out and smooth it all out. And it just became a mud pit over here. It is finally all dried up. And now I can get back to leveling this piece of dirt so I could build a shed. So here we are with this. The ground is completely dry as bone. No more mud pit, I gotta smooth it out. So I got all the dirt leveled out and I may have pulled the trigger this morning and got some gravel. I didn't record any of it. I actually didn't record a good majority of the dirt leveling because well, that would have been boring to just have five minutes of time lapse me on the tractor. But yeah, anyways, I woke up this morning and my old man convinced me to go get some gravel. So I went and got some gravel and now I have all the wood here laid out. I have a pretty rough idea of what I'm gonna do for the floor and I'm gonna try and get that done right now. But basically, instead of doing a 12 by 12, I'm now gonna do a 10 by 12 because I'm trying to use the wood I have without buying any more than I have to. And I only have one 10 foot one 15 foot and then a lot of eight foot and a couple nine footers. I only have about an hour, hour and a half to do this. So let's get started. floor is all put together 90% of the way. Uh, I still have to put the sleds on, the 4x4 pressure treated 4x4s. <laughs> so today I'm going to flip it over because I want to actually notch not only the 4x4s but the 2x6s. I'm going to notch them into all the boards just to add a little extra support but mainly because I want to drop it down just two three inches because um, it's going to be sitting on top of the blocks and the anchors and I just don't want it to be two feet off the ground. So any bit of lowering I can do I'm gonna do and it's gonna add a little extra support when I go to use it as a sled or pull it as a sled so that's the plan I'm gonna flip it right now line it all up and cut the notches in I'm hoping by the end of today I can hopefully have some walls up I still have to figure out I know I'm gonna put the door in the front but I think I want to do some windows and I don't know where I'm gonna do the windows and I don't have any windows so that might be something I have to buy maybe go to the salvage supply stores maybe pick up some junk windows or something but that's the plan for today.
I made all my measurements and I'm cutting the notches now. This is gonna take quite a while. As you can see, I've only done really just four of them, but I'm taking my saw and just doing a bazillion relief cuts to make these notches. And I have to do what, one, two, three, four more of those, all of those on those four by fours. And then I have to make the notches across the floor. So I'm not gonna film all this. My hand is getting so tired of holding this saw, so I'm probably gonna take a few more breaks. So I'll fill you guys in as soon as I get it all notched and set back down on the floor. I think I have another idea I'm gonna do, but we'll see once I get the four by fours notched into place. I'll fill you guys in once I get there. <laughs> The sleds have been made, they were notched. I've already screwed them in. Everything is already put in place. Now all I have to do is flip it back over. I'm gonna add some extra supports in between. Two by sixes, I'll probably put some two by fours laterally or horizontally, I, I, I don't know. But I'm gonna add some extra support to it and then I'm gonna go to Home Depot and pick up some pressure treated plywood for the floor and then hopefully get that down and start on at least one wall. That's where I'm at now. I spoke way too soon this morning on having these ambitions of getting these walls up. It has just been so freaking hot today. I feel like I work like 30 minutes and then I just, I'm pooped. So I've been taking lots of breaks. But anyways, I got all my little support pieces. I also got some plywood. So right now I'm going to jack it up, put it on the anchors that I have over there, get the plywood on it, and then call it a day because it's just so freaking hot, man. Let's go get the jack. I can't even speak today. I'm just so tired and hot. I can't, I've tried to make this video like five times now. I haven't done anything today. I went out of town to go get an air conditioning unit and look for a window for the shed at a building salvage supply store. I did find a window. I came back here and I started to look at the remaining two by sixes I have to frame the walls. And this is all I've got done. So last night I did finish putting down the OSB, the rest of the floor, it's all nailed down. So that's what I'm doing now is just figuring out what I have to frame up the walls because I'm not trying to buy any new wood. Besides the floor, besides the OSB that I bought, I'm trying to do this with everything that I have here that I've salvaged from the barn that I took down. So that's where I'm at today with it. Possibly gonna go eat something. I'm, I'm gonna go eat something. And then I'm gonna try to frame up the wall, the south facing wall that has the window. And then I'm probably gonna call it quits. So I just wanna fill you guys in, let you guys know what's going on. That's it.
finally got a wall up. I had some help from my old man. He came over, gave me a couple pointers, and then helped me lift the wall up. But uh, I had the GoPro going, and it died at some point. So I don't know how much of it we got yet, but here's the wall. First time ever framing a window. Um, I'm super, super stoked I finally got this up. Tomorrow's the ladies' day off. We're gonna be going to Baker Lake. So I'm gonna clean everything up right now. Nothing's gonna be getting done tomorrow. I'm gonna get back to it on Friday. Hopefully I'll get at least those other two walls up and then start to plan for the doorway. I'm gonna be building my own door, so I don't know how that's gonna go. Either, but she just pulled in the driveway. I gotta go, boys. Yesterday was a beautiful day at the lake. I did end up waking up a little early, woke up at like seven, came out here and put these two walls together before going to the lake. So I got those two walls. It only took me like an hour and a half to put those together. I didn't have to think about it too much. Not like the window. Framing the window for me was new. I never framed a window before. So I think it came out pretty good. King studs, jack studs, cripples, header. Pretty simple. It's just having to measure and think of where I want to put it. it took a little bit for me to think about and it might take me a little bit to think about how i'm gonna do the door as well but it's basically the same concept as a window so that's what we're gonna do today i'm gonna get this wall for the front door up and then i'm going to figure out what would i have left over out of two by fours i'm gonna make some trusses i also have never made any trusses so that's gonna be new for me so that might take a little while but i'm going to lay it all out make sure i have what i need and then hopefully maybe start to get the trusses up no guarantees because it's also again hot as hell today. So I'm at least gonna plan it out, lay it all out, and then either start it tonight or start it tomorrow. Hopefully call my old man over to help me out with it. Okay, I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. I've had three GoPro batteries swell up on me and stop working. I can't even fit them back in my GoPro. I started using my other iPhone to make time lapses and it keeps shutting out halfway through the recording because it's so freaking hot outside. It's like 90 plus degrees. And the next time I record, it's just gonna be the whole shed completely done. But I'll show you what we did today. My old man came over and he helped me put these trusses together, put them on top. We did some of the siding and that's it. But <laughs> I we only work like 20 to 30 minutes at a time. And then we take a break because it's so hot. As soon as everything is all done, I will catch you guys up, fill you in with the finished product. And that'll be the end of this video. So I'll see you in two seconds. All right, so it's been like a week and a half since I finished the shed. It's 90% done, like the majority of my projects around here. It's actually probably more done than any of my projects around here. Voila. I got the roofing on the side. I have the roof up top. I got these little solar panels for some lights inside. Got the window in. I got these, this nice little door handle and lock. See the solar panel lights up there, the little LED lights. They're freaking great in, at night. They only turn on at night, so. <laughs> um, they're motion activated, so if I ever have to come in at night, just automatically turn on. Bada bing, bada boom. I wasn't able to fill you guys in right when I finished it because I was in such a hurry. I had to go to Maryland to take a class. I just got back like three days ago. I don't like to leave my house like a job site, no matter how long I'm leaving for. So as soon as I finished it, I started organizing, cleaning everything up, got my cars back parked. I took all the extra lumber I had, 
piled it up here. Got my pallets and my tires behind the shed, but yeah. This is this is where we're at, and I'm not. This is this is it for the shed build. I'm not gonna fill you guys. I'm gonna fill you guys in. I'm not gonna make a whole nother video. But I pretty much, like I said, I just have. I'm gonna do this roofing up here as well, and then cedar lap the rest of it. And then I got to build some shelves inside. But that's that's it for the shed. I'm not gonna film any more of it because I have all these other projects piling up on me as I always do, <laughs> and I have a work trip coming up in like three weeks. So before that trip, I got another project. So I just picked this up yesterday. It's gonna have to get parked outside. So I'm gonna have to prime it and there's some bare metal. So I gotta resand this, I gotta prime it. That way I could park it outside. This is a 64 Corvair, I don't know if I said that. I also have, I gotta do the casing and trim in one of the spare rooms that's gonna be soon to be a nursery very, very soon. So that's why the shed is being put on hold because I gotta finish up my nursery. I gotta get this primed and all sorts of other stuff that I can't remember right now. So if you've made it this far in the video, I really appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you're interested in these other projects that I'm doing. Yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.